Okay. Old Marco Polo. I was bringing all the horses in and I couldn't find the old man. And I found him lying behind the round bale and struggling. Managed to get him up and I'm walking him now. I've called the vet. The vet's on the way. Because um, I think Marco Polo has got colic. How he got colic, I don't know. You can see the way he's standing. He's straining. And he's in a lot of... He's trying to pee now. But, um... Hopefully... The, oh, yay. Okay, he's peeing. That's a good sign. Good sign. Okay. That'll alleviate if he's in pain in his bowels. So... A good long pee. Anyway, I brought him back down to the yard here and he collapsed on the cement. Oh, you can see he's in pain. Good boy. I'm glad you had that long pee. No, 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 no. Keep walking. You're not going to lie down again. So, the vet's coming. And, uh, uh, he's an old man. And he suffered a bad bout of colic a number of years ago. Some of you who've been following me for a while will remember. But he's a um, good boy. He's an old pony. We don't know how old he is. And when they get old and they've had a problem with colic, everybody's here. There's the cats. Uh, no, you're not going in there. We're not going in there. We're just gonna walk and walk and walk until the vet gets here. Hopefully he'll be able to dose him. And no, 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 no. Keep on walking. You gotta keep walking a colicky animal. No, 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 come on. Poor boy, he just wants to lie down and feel miserable. But that can make it worse. And he was fine. At four, he gave me a whinny. So, hopefully, um, the vet will come and give him some stuff to make him feel better. And some glucose. Poor boy. Come on. Atta boy. Okay. You're such a good man. Are you doing okay? No, you're not. You're not, are you? I should really tighten this head collar a bit. There. It's not dangling down his nose so much. No, don't lie down. Okay. Oh, poor boy. No, no, you're not gonna lie down. Come on, good boy. You can see the other horses are in and fine. And the alpaca and yo lambs are all in. And I'm just waiting for the vet and walking him around in circles with the dog who's very keen. And confused. Other dogs are confused. They're like, this isn't right. This is what you have to do with a colicky animal. Oh, I'm so glad I went up now and found him. I'd hate to have, for him to have had a miserable night out. I saw there's a storm coming. They had plenty of hay up there if it had been a dry night. But there was a storm coming. So... No, no. Come on, keep going. Good boy. Come on, good boy. Come on. Keep walking. No, no, come on. I know, your snarly nose shows that you're in pain. You good boy. No, no, no. No, no, you're not gonna lie down. Come on. We gotta keep him walking till the vet gets here. 
in circles if I have to to keep them standing. At a good girl. Poor Marco. It's just not fair. So the vet's been and Marco Polo's had all kinds of injections. One of them being a really dopey, dopey thing, which is why he's standing the way he is, looking really dopey. So you can see he's kind of wobbling about the place. And I have to come and check on him at 4 a.m. when the painkillers and dopey stuff runs out to see if he's still okay. So I'll probably come down here around half three or so in the morning to see that he's okay. Poor fella. Not good. Or, fingers crossed, he's gonna get better, rather. Good old Marco Polo. He was fine at four this afternoon, but he's an old boy. And as the vet said, thank goodness, I made the decision to bring the horses in after I saw the weather. Otherwise, Marco Polo might have been out all night long suffering. You good boy, Marco. Yeah. The pain's gone. He's just very, very dopey at the moment. Ugh, oh, I've met. Yes, I know. Everybody's very concerned about Marco Polo. Oop, you just want attention. <laughs> So anyway, Marco Polo is a bedroom all to himself. A fresh bucket of water is all he's allowed. Hopefully he won't nibble the straw. I don't think he's up to eating anything anyway. He's not feeling well. Anyway, there we go for the night. As I was leaving the yard, heard this huge crash. And he'd fallen over and broken his water bucket. Oh, everybody's worried. <laughs> Everybody wants to come and look after Marco Polo. <laughs> settle down, settle down. Look, everybody's here. Everybody's here. Yeah. Poor Marco. Poor boy. Yeah. He got a lot of dirt in his eye when he was struggling on the ground before I found him. I'm so glad I found him. Well, he's got lovely straw bed. <laughs> Problem was that he fell on, that's a new bucket. He fell down in the other bucket. Poor boy. You're so good. You're such a good boy. He's all wet from, oh, and there's oven mitt is here as well. We're all here for you, Marco. You good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you good boy. Poor boy. He has kitty. No, don't fall over on me. Good boy. Yeah, kitty. Stand up, good boy. You're very dopey. Maybe you got too much medicine.
you're leaning right into me. Whoop. Come on, stand up. I better stand up. Because if you fall on top of me, that wouldn't be a good thing. Good boy.